60 seconds. Here we go. Let's have a good show, everybody. I am Raul. How many people do we have today for the show? Okay, Dandy, one player. What's your name? Hey, what are you asking me? That is it. Yo, one more thing. Uh, you looking for a 21-question game or more like a seven-question tournament game? 30 seconds. Your buzzer is the letter B on your keyboard. That's B is in Babette. You know, I don't think that's why they call him the best boy. 20 seconds. Look alive for 20. I've been Oh, 20 seconds. Um, okay, look, listen. Here's the directions. When a question pops up, you gotta buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right number on the keyboard. Got it? It is easy. 10 seconds. Good luck. 9, 8, get rid of the desk. 7, Let's go to black. All right, folks, see you on the other side. 3, Silver Lining Tarot Center, making the great beyond just a little bit greater. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey there, my name's Cookie. You have any questions at all, please feel free to keep them to yourself. Anyway, ah, the game of solitaire. That's okay, I'm here alone too. So let's get it on. Okay, I need a cat again. Well, what do we have here? Bad parts of the cow. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Hey, you know Sam the Butcher from the Brady Bunch, right? Well, say Sam wants to be alone with Alice. If he asks to meet her in an area of high crime and corrupt business, where might Alice say she's going? I'm meeting Sam by the Tenderloin, Sam and I are meeting at the Sirloin Tips, I'm off to see Sam by the Sweetbreads, or Sam is meeting me at the Rump Roast. <laughs> New York and San Francisco both have legendary tenderloins. The areas were nicknamed because corrupt cops made lots of easy cash. <laughs> so Sam wants to meet her there. Well, Sam always was the romantic one. I need a category. The category? Blood is thinner than ocean water. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Well, this certainly should be interesting. It's time for a guest host question that affects me in a very personal way. The last time I saw her, she was letting me have it with a wooden paddle. And I'm not talking about my ex-girlfriend. Cookie! Ow! Shame on you! Today's guest host is my fifth grade teacher, Miss Tukas. I see you haven't changed, you scalawag. Hey, check me out, Miss T. I'm hosting my own show here. I haven't done too badly for myself. Well, at least you didn't end up in prison. Well, yeah, right. Uh, what, what, what do you say give us a little pop quiz? You got a question for us? Well, okay. Sit up straight, hands on your desks. Here we go. Let's pretend that the world's oceans got into a little scuffle on the playground. Considering the meaning of its name, which of these oceans would probably not join in? The Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, or the Indian Ocean? Pacific means to be peaceful. You see, since it's called the Pacific Ocean, it would be peaceful and not want to fight. Hey, good job, Miss Tukas. I'm telling you, you haven't lost your touch. No, no, just my teeth. <laughs> okay, thanks for sharing. Okay, bye-bye. Well, bye, Miss Tukas. That was Miss Tukas. Okay, let's get back to the game. Okay, pick a category. One, two, two, brings me on by the three. Shake hands with nose plugs sold separately. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, what I've got here is an alien sociology textbook about Earth. Buzz in when you know what the hell these guys are talking about. Female leader of independent agrarian children's commune in which members represent specific produce via appearance and odor. What toy are the aliens writing about? Raggedy Ann, Holly Hobby, Strawberry Shortcake, or Hello Kitty? <laughs> Strawberry Shortcake. She lived on a farm with a bunch of her smelly friends. 
and you think they smell fruity, try having an intellectual conversation with one of them. All right, hit me. You can't stop at three, no, you gotta have four, yeah! Well, looks like this category is three men in a formula joke. How does $2,000 sound? Okay, stop me if you've heard this one before. Colonel Sanders, Vinny Barbarino, and Popeye walk into a bar. The bartender says, I'm sorry, but we don't serve barbait people here. Who has to leave? The Colonel, Vinny Barbarino, Popeye, or all three of them? No, we can stay, but remember, never mix alcohol in spinach. See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. Barbate people, like the Colonel, have beards. Needless to say, Santa Claus and ZZ Top are forced to celebrate happy hour elsewhere. Category, please. Let's blow this time and head for number five. This one likes to go by micro brews that never quite made it. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Here's a question that combines two of America's favorite pastimes, TV and beer. If you wanted to tour the fictional Schatz Brewery, which city would you have to visit? Boston, Massachusetts, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Boulder, Colorado, or Seattle, Washington? Boston, now that's where everybody knows your name. The correct answer is... The fictional Schatz Brewery is located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right around the corner from Laverne and Shirley's. Two really funny women who work at a brewery. How can reality possibly compare to TV? Okay, I need a category. category is all this posing is making me tired you give me a right answer i give you three thousand bucks okay watch out virgin ears this one's a little saucy say jenny mccarthy's doing another shoot for playboy and the photographer wants her to spread eagle considering the term's origin how might she feel as she poses athletic like the philadelphia eagles cheap like a united states quarter powerful like a jeep eagle or patriotic like the great seal of the u.s the term spread eagle comes from the figure of an eagle with wings and legs spread on the emblem of the Great Seal of the U.S. <laughs> Ain't that just like America? You try to do something patriotic and someone hides you under the mattress. Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh, wet sucked its shine floor. It's time for a conversation. One gibberish category coming up. Stay back or I throw the salad. How about $5,000 to start this gibberish question? Now listen up. Every second and a half, some of the cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to be quick. Okay, get ready to buzz in and tell me with what song lyric does this gibberish phrase rhyme? Found one old tomato, Mom. And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. All right, type in your answer, hit return, and let's see how you do. Uh. Space Oddity by David Bowie. I hear Ground Control is also looking for Peter Schilling. You know, that guy who wrote the follow-up song, Major Tom Coming Home. Category, please. Here we have, yeah man, is Dave there? And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. You probably know some version of the old saying about opportunity knocking. Well, if an economic opportunity knocked on your front door, which might be the economic opportunity cost of opening the front door? You'd miss an opportunity at the back door, you wouldn't be able to find the front door, the front door isn't yours, or the front door opportunity cost too much. How do you say, um, no? Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. <laughs> the concept of opportunity cost involves what you miss by pursuing something else, so you'd be missing an opportunity at your back door. To avoid such problems, put a dummy by your back door, then the opportunities will stay there trying to get the dummy's attention. 
All right, hit me. Aloha, question number nine. And this one is, anything less than SPF 30 is inadvisable. This one can net you a grand. Okay, here's the deal. While suntanning at the beach, you realize that you've neglected a few crucial pale spots. If you want to get some color on your perineum, what would you have to do to allow for direct sunlight from the noonday sun? Fold ears forward and tape to face, aim sun reflectors at the backs of knees, lie on stomach while clenching butt cheeks, or attempt the naked leg spread handstand. The perineum, also known as the taint, is that special place between the genitals and the anus. So you'd have to do a handstand and then spread them. <laughs> Just think, your bronze taint would be the envy of all other taints. Hey there, never seen a taint like you before. Can I buy you a drink? No thanks, I'm in the middle of something. I need a category. Hey, guess what? Now you can brag to all your friends that you've been part of a three-way. Alrighty, here's the deal. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. If you buzz in when the correct member of the three-way is lit up, it's a thousand in the bank. But look out, it'll cost you a grand every time you're wrong. And be careful, individual answers don't necessarily have anything to do with the three-way as a group. Alright, let's get this party rolling. The category for this little number is... Eee! A pack of rats! And that means for this one, we've got the quintessential group of rats, Frank, Sammy, and Dean. Okay, get ready, cuz, uh, here we go. Oh, yes! 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 Well, that's all we got. Let's see how it turned out. Nicely done, a perfect score. Must be all that practicing alone, huh? This should firm up your overall score. So, is it as good for you as it was for me? Probably better. Okay, let's get on with the game. Okay, we're halfway home. Let's see how round two treats you. Every question in round two is worth twice as much, so we got some serious cash at stake here. Let's get to it. Okay, pick a category. Don't look now. It's question 11. Open wide and get ready for... Montague, get into my office! $2,000 says you don't know this one. Okay, here we go. I have these descriptions of the new TV pilots for next fall. Here, listen to this one. After offering all of his possessions to his three daughters, this Shakespearean character is solving crimes with his unpredictable new partner. What's the name of this show? Scarecrow and King Lear, Jay Queez and the Fat Man, Simon and Timon, or Hardcastle and Macbeth? <laughs> It was King Lear who started his downfall by offering to divide his land and possessions among his three daughters if they would profess their love for him. <laughs> of course, that's all before retiring to a small New England town where his knowledge of forensics and Taekwondo can help the police solve a different murder every week. Okay, I need a category. Say hello to... Did you just hear a satyr? Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Just step up and take a swing at this one. If Zamfir, master of the pan flute, were to record a version of the magic flute, which composer would probably roll over in his grave? Beethoven, Copland, Verdi, or Mozart? The magic flute is one of Mozart's operas. And Zamfir is one of Mozart's worst nightmares. I need a category. Ah! 
The selection is, they've gone down the drain, but backwards. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Aw, oh, you know what? I had this song running through my head recently, and I couldn't think of the name of the band. Help me out by typing it in when you know it. And you do know it. It was this Australian band. They were really popular back in the early 80s. They sang that song about eating Vegemite sandwiches. Oh yeah, the, the song was called Down Under. What, what was their name again? Talk to me, type in your answer and hit return. Uh-huh. They come from a land down under. They're men at work, but not lately. Category, please. Okay, give it up for the fifth little piggy has a bladder problem and get this one right You got 4k coming your way. Hey, you know that children's nursery rhyme about this little piggy. Well What are the third little piggy eat again? Run with it type in your answer and hit return The third little piggy ate roast beef yeah, in a lesser-known nursery rhyme sequel, a bunch of little cows exact revenge by holding a pork chop feast. All right, hit me. Hey, all right, guess what you just picked? It's time to play Dis or Dat. This Dis or Dat's category name is Backseat President. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a car manufacturer, an American president, or both. After each one comes up, if it's a car manufacturer, press one. If it's a president, press two. Press three if it's both. And press four to skip. Each correct answer will net you 1,000 bucks. And I'll take 1,000 away for a wrong answer or for one you didn't get to. All right, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. And we're off. Fillmore, automaker president. Ford. Cleveland. Plymouth. Lincoln. Monroe. One more, Chrysler. That's all she wrote. Perfect, and with time to spare, here you go. Now, that does not suck. Let's move on. Okay, I need a category. And I believe this one's called... Hey, no biting! This one can net you $6,000. Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. Oh no, you've been attacked by Count Facula! What are your symptoms? You're burned to a crisp, you're a list of frequently asked questions, you're covered in chocolate, or you've been transformed into a scrotum. No, that would be a fa Q. Hmm, what does that sound like? For the curious, here's the right answer. A facula is an extra bright spot on the sun, so it's either get bit by Count Dracula in the dead of night, or kill him with sunlight and risk getting burned to death by Count Facula. Man, you just cannot win! I need a category. On the big bayou in Louisiana, crest on 17. May I introduce... I wonder if he plays the Harpo. How does $4,000 grab you? Heads up, here it comes. If Richard Marx recorded an album devoted to the philosophies of Karl Marx, which of these songs would you definitely not hear? Religion is the opium of the people, the history of class struggles, the ballad is stronger than the bullet, or to each according to his needs. <laughs> Sounds like you've been sucking on a little of the nopium. <laughs> Let's take a look at the right answer. The ballot is stronger than the bullet is something Abe Lincoln said. Same era as Karl Marx, but an opposing view on the topic. I don't know about this idea for a Marxist Richard Marx album, though. If he did record it, he wouldn't be allowed to sell it. He'd only be able to give it away to those who needed it. And who needs another Richard Marx album? Okay, pick a category.
This one's called, Am I My Bandmate's Keeper? How does $2,000 sound? All right, heads up here. I'm going to use a big word in this question. Fratricide. In this sense, it means to kill your sibling. Okay? If a deadly fight broke out while these bands were in the studio and the members killed each other in the fracas, who would not be guilty of fratricide? The Andrews Sisters, the Pointer Sisters, the Righteous Brothers, or the Neville Brothers? The Righteous Brothers weren't. Brothers, I mean. So it wouldn't be a sibling on sibling murder. And a damn shame that an argument over who'd lost that love and feeling more ended in blood. Category, please. Pucker up for the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Okay, flex those fingers and get ready for a typing test. From left to right on the top row, what are the first six letters on a standard keyboard? This could be it. Type in your answer and hit return. QWERTY from the first six letters is the nickname for a standard keyboard. Come on, you can tell me. Did you look? All right, hit me. Coming at you. You don't know your ass got from your elbow. Think you can handle $6,001 bills? Listen up. Y'all know the story in A Midsummer Night's Dream, right? Where a fairy named Puck changes one guy into a jackass? In the adaptation of Midsummer Night's Dream in a men's locker room, which of these is most likely to be transformed into an ass by the mischievous urinal Puck? A revealed rear, a bare bottom, a flaunted fanny, or a shaken willy? In the play, Puck transforms Nick Bottom into a braying ass. But the rest of the guys at the urinals pretended not to notice. Okay, pick a category. You're about to em- Ah, you think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. She makes me look good. Question is, what can she do for your score? Let's find out. Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself and you came out on top. Not many people can say that, but I know plenty of people who can say... You don't know nice work, yet. people. Congratulate yourselves. We pulled off another one. Hey, Raul, can we go home or are we playing another one of these? Hey, look, I don't want to make you play another game, but you know, we got everything all set up. It wouldn't be a big problem, so, you know, just let me know.
parenting alternative for busy, successful people who know what they want in a child. What, what is ChemiKids? ChemiKids is a state-of-the-art offspring generation system that lets you take the controls. Want to raise a Nobel Prize winning economist? You got it! Heartless corporate shark? Just say the word. You combine the amino acids, you activate the convenient wall socket animator. No messy conception, no Lamaze classes, no adolescent rebellion. But wait, I cheated my way through biology class. Can I still use ChemiKids? Detailed instructions are provided, and if you're dissatisfied with the results, simply flush them down the toilet and start over. It's as simple as programming a cell phone. Why, I brought my own little Jimmy along. <laughs> That's right, Jimmy, back in the box. We can't wait to be Chemi parents. Chemikids, don't just play God, be God. Daddy. Funding Deutsche Feldenkamp. Uber Nostrum. It's delicious. Uber Nostrum tastes just like candy. I mean, it's tasty. I enjoy the freedom of Uber Nostrum. It takes the pain away. Uber Nostrum. Uber Nostrum makes me feel fresh. Uber Nostrum improved my golf game. I made $20,000. I never knew love, and, and then I tried Uber Nostrum. Uber Nostrum. I haven't cried in weeks. I think. You should take Uber Nostrum, just in case. There's no downside. It looks great. I look great. I feel great now. I feel good. Good. Goodness. Savory goodness. Uber Nostrum. This is going to sound strange, but I feel like a more like a woman. I feel more like a woman. Uber Nostrum changes lives. Thank you, Uber Nostrum. Thank God for... Uber Nostrum. Du mussen mehr gut gefühlen mit Uber Nostrum. This morning on The Asylum. Hello? Yes, is this Mrs. Forsythe? Yes, it is. This is Principal Warga. I'm afraid I've got some bad news about your son, Timmy, in the fourth grade. What? I'm afraid he died at school this morning. What? Timmy? Yeah, he, oh he died God. of a severe wedgie. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> yeah, the autopsy wow. show he also <laughs> suffered from repeated wet willies. <laughs> what? Who is this? Who? Looks like Principal little Warga? Timmy's mother's a bit pissed. What pissed. I'm the one who should be pissed. You <laughs> wouldn't let me finish the joke. Oh, you guys are, are you so people? crazy. 109.7 WEOB. The Asylum, weekday mornings from 7 to 11. This week on Zenora, Queen of Battle, a city is under siege. Ah, battle makes me so tense. Here, let me rub your shoulders. And hope is running out. Ugh, my breastplate is stuck. Here, Zenora, let me help you. All on the next Zenora. Psst, ladies, is your biological clock ticking? If so, try the new Fertility Ring. It's a mood ring that tracks ovulation. It's simple. When it's that special time, the stone is blue. The ring is blue. Randy, take me now. Uh, I'm watching the game. I said now. Okay, whoa! When you're barren, the stone is black. Come on, baby, give me something. Back off, Randy. But honey, read the ring. No more messy temperature readings, no more counting days. Just watch for the blue stone and get busy. Ooh, that was great, honey. Yeah, I bet I'm knocked up. Thanks, Thanks Fertility, Fertility Ring. Fertility Ring. When it's blue, you screw.